One of the things that I loved growing up was playing video games. I never thought that it would be a career of mine. It was just something that I liked. So I would play with my brother. Sometimes when he was away from home, I would sneak in his room and play by myself. <laughs> It was really fun. Um, but now that I'm a professional, I've been able to sort of integrate that one thing that I like, which was kind of unexpected, into my career. Uh, I, as an epidemiologist, I do tend to veer on the side of math and science and trying to figure out problems. And in video games, a lot of times, that's what you're trying to do, solve a problem to reach a goal, which is win the game. So one of the things that I've done is network a whole lot with lots of people, whether they're inside of the CDC or outside of the CDC. I like to be able to sort of cast my net kind of wide. In doing so, I've been able to cross paths with lots of different professionals, and some of those professionals have actually been video gamers themselves and also video game developers. These are the people that sit behind the scenes and write the code for the video games. They choose the colors. They sort of work with different artists to create the images that you see on the screen. And so I think what they do is absolutely awesome and entertaining. I may not be good at that, <laughs> but I think they are. So one of the things that we've been able to do is collaborate. So I'm able to bring my scientific background to the table. They're able to bring their video game um, experience to the table. And so one of the things that we've been able to do for the past two years is recruit students and other people from the Atlanta community and host what we call a game jam. Game jams are hosted all over the United States, but the one here in Atlanta is pretty special to my heart because CDC partnered with some local colleges here and universities to make sure that students are able to exercise their talents. So some of the students are not interested in science at all. So one of my jobs was to, if there was a topic chosen, for example, this year, the topic was HIV and AIDS. Um, if there's a topic chosen, I you know, advise on the topic itself so that people are very, very well aware of what they're creating the video game for. They also need to be aware of what audiences, such as the age groups that they're creating video games for. In this case, it's usually about 13 to 25. And we were able to have an awesome weekend where people from all over Atlanta came and spent a weekend together, stayed up all night to be able to produce a video game that can it's potentially help people not contract HIV or AIDS anymore. So what we want to do is put out public health messaging in a really cool way, and in this case, the cool way is through video games. There was a contest that was held, and at the end of the weekend, we chose 15 winners, and um, as a result of those 15 winners, they got judged even more, and we chose five winners. And of those five winners, they were able to basically come to CDC and have an internship and even complete their video game. The hope is to create a really, really great product that everybody from all ages can use to learn more about HIV.